In this video, you will learn about Flutter container. Flutter container is like a box or a wrapper for a widget. And you will use Flutter containers when you need to add some additional spacing around the widget, or if you need to add a border around the widget, or put a widget into a box with a particular background color. You'll create a Flutter container, you will then put a widget inside of this container, and then you can add some padding or margin, border around your container, or even change container's shape. And in this video, you will learn how to create a very simple Flutter container, put a text widget inside of that container, and then configure some spacing around that widget using container's margin, padding, and I will also show you how to change container's color. All right. So to create a new container, we will use container widget. I have a very simple material app created and it's running right now in iOS simulator and it displays a single text widget. I will delete it for now and I will use containers widget to create a new container. Like this. If I save this change and rerun my app, I will not see anything because this container does not have anything inside of it and there is no color set for me to see anything. Now, if I change container's color, save and rerun my app, now I will see a change. If container has no widget inside of it, if it is empty, it will take the whole space around it. Now, let's put a text widget inside of this container and see how it works. And to do that, we will need to use container's child property. Now, if I save and rerun this app, I will see a text widget wrapped into a container with a red color. If a container has something inside of it, if it has a child widget, then it wraps around that child widget. And if we need to add some spacing between the child widget and the container, we will use container's padding property. And values are provided using age in set class. Like this. And there are different options to choose from. We can set zero padding, which would mean that there will be zero pixels space between text widget and the container's age. Or we can choose, for example, all and set an equal padding from all four sides of our text widget, from left side, from right side, from top and from bottom. Let's select it and see how it works. I will set 20 pixels around text widget. Now I will save this change and rerun my app. And now we see that there is an equal amount of spacing from all sides, 20 pixels from the left side, 20 pixels from the top, 20 pixels from the right and from the bottom. Let's try using different value, for example. Now, if we choose a symmetric, then we can configure only vertical padding or only horizontal padding or both at the same time. Let's try it. I will start with vertical padding only. And I'll use the same value of 20 pixels. Now, if I save and rerun my app, I will see that there is a padding only from the top and from the bottom. There is no padding from the left or right side. Now, I can use vertical only or horizontal only, or I can use both of them, vertical and horizontal together. Now, if I save and rerun it, there will be equal spacing around all sides of my text widget. We can also configure a different spacing from each side. If we need to have a different spacing from left and different spacing from top or bottom, we can do that. If I select a different value, if I delete symmetric and then choose from LTRB, then I'll be able to provide a different value for the left side and different value for top, right and bottom. Let's try, for example, 10 from left, 20 pixels from top, 10 from the right side and 20 pixels from the bottom. Now I will save my code and rerun the app. And here it is. All is working very well. Now this is how padding works. And again, padding is a spacing inside of the container, the inside space between the child widget and the container ages. If we wanted to add spacing outside of the container, we can do that with the margin property. And to do that, I will use same agent sets class, but I will need to use a different property called margin. Like this. I will 
copy agent sets values like this and I will set an equal space from all four sides 20 pixels now I will save and rerun it and now I see that there is a space on the left and there is a space on the top there is also space on the right and there is also space at the bottom but because I have only single widget I don't see the difference very much all right so you now know what is a container in Flutter and how to use it as a box for your widgets and how to add some spacing around your widget if needed